many terms have been abused lately from socialism to democracy and so on, and feminism is another one, because the feminist movement as it started in the, the 60s, uh, which was very much part of the May 68 movement, <coughs> was a radical movement aiming to uh, liberate women within a liberated society. Therefore, the idea was to fight all kinds of, all kinds of uh, hierarchy, all kinds of power structures, and patriarchy was considered just one kind of such a hierarchical structure. Now, uh, within the feminist movement, as also within the green movement, the ecological movement, it was a similar trend, uh, there were uh, divisions later on, especially in the 70s and uh, uh, in the 80s even more. And uh, there were two trends developed. One was the reformist trend uh, in uh, feminist terms, we were called the insiders, which were calling uh, in favor of taking power from inside, from within the system. And therefore, in a sense, Thatcher was representing, if you like, this trend, although unconsciously, of course. Uh, and uh, the other trend was the outsiders, uh, who were the more radical women, who believed that unless you overthrow the system, unless, in other words, uh, you overthrow the main institutions of the system, the market economy, representative democracy, and so on, then you cannot expect to have any radical change in uh, the relations of uh, men to women, and generally in the relation between men. And the same happened, as I said, with the Green Movement, when uh, uh, we had the conflict between the realos and the fundos, with the fundos in uh, similar terms uh, expressing their ideas to the outsiders and the realos the other way. Therefore, <coughs> what Thatcher did with respect to the uh, uh, feminist uh, position, or rather the position of women in society, was to support indirectly through the policies that uh, she introduced the one elite of women, that is uh, the women who were higher up in uh, uh, the social uh, uh, structure and uh, could uh, exploit their um, educational advantages or their advantages from their family and so on to uh, move up to higher positions. And what happened was that Indeed, today we know that uh, a significant part of the elites, both in Britain and America, uh, consists of women. But this does not mean that uh, anything significant has changed for women workers uh, and so on. That is, uh, there have been, of course, some uh, uh, changes in terms of, uh, uh, if you like, economic liberation of women, uh, in the sense that uh, they can find easier jobs and so on, but still all the uh, available evidence shows that discrimination even on this level, on the level of uh, the uh, wage structures and so on, is still there. So what happened was that uh, Thatcher simply expanded the uh, elites by including more women inside uh, the elites, and that was all. I don't believe that uh, uh, there is any significance in the symbolic value that uh, Thatcher was a woman or uh, Goda Meir was a woman or uh, uh, Obama is a black uh, uh, man. That is, uh, what matters is uh, what sort of class interests they represent and what sort of policies they implement. I can't see even Obama, for example, how uh, symbolically his victory represented anything important, any sig anything significant. Uh, well, don't forget the first uh, uh, enemies that uh, he tried to fight was uh, the black people, the black poor people in Somalia, who were, uh, who were called pirates, and in fact they were simply fighting for their rights because they could not even uh, have a living now as they used to by uh, fishing and so on. And of course uh, we know the kind of massacres that uh, uh, Obama is now involved in Afghanistan and so on. That is, I can't see much difference in the policies of Obama uh, with respect to Bush or in the policies of uh, Thatcher with respect to the policies of Reagan or whatever. That is, uh, I don't think that it is sex or uh, the color 
that determines the policies of uh, a politician. I think that uh, what determines them is uh, uh, the class interest and uh, the position they uh, hold in society. And uh, the same applies as well uh, even at the micro level. A micro level, I mean, uh, if you have a woman who is a manager, say, in a big firm, and uh, I know that uh, there is a lot of evidence about it, and I have even personal experience, they could behave even worse than men in their positions as managers and so on. And I can explain this. The reason is that uh, they try to compete with men in uh, uh, society which is controlled by men and their values and so on. So even if women uh, could have some different values for whatever reason, now that's uh, another question, uh, how they could uh, show, how they could implement these values when they have to conform with the rules of a game and the game is not determined by them or is not determined by black people in America just because uh, Obama was elected because he's good in communications and so on. I think the bricks and riots again was a symptom, uh, a symptom of the oppression of the black community in uh, Britain because obviously there uh, was and there still is racism in uh, Britain, uh, not only in Britain of course. And uh, <coughs> so that was something to be expected that at some point uh, when uh, oppression becomes uh, uh, very uh, heavy and uh, people cannot uh, tolerate it anymore, that they would explode and uh, they exploded. Uh, it was significant in a sense that uh, it gave the uh, uh, black community a sense of its power in a sense, but on the other hand of course uh, it created the counter violence from the uh, state and uh, uh, they try to smash uh, this movement and uh, to a significant extent they succeeded in it. Uh, so the results, the implications if you like are mixed. That is on the one hand uh, it was a symptom of uh, a growing oppression and on the other hand it was also a symptom of a rising level of consciousness among the black community. Uh, there were also uh, uh, white people who were taking part and this was showing that it was much more a class issue rather than a race issue. Uh, in fact, uh, the same happened even uh, when, a couple of months ago when uh, uh, many uh, uh, workers here uh, in the north uh, came out in unofficial strikes, uh, not because they were against immigrants as such from Italy and so on, but they were against the practices of uh, these corporations who under the common market regulations they could import uh, work from anywhere they like and uh, <coughs> employ them under the conditions they like uh, without even asking the local people whether they could work or not in the same uh, kind of activity. So uh, this is a very encouraging thing that um, uh, why people took part in the BRICS and riots or uh, uh, that uh, those people who were ironically using Brown's slogan uh, British jobs for British workers in fact uh, explicitly stated that uh, this is not at all a race issue, this is just uh, a class issue and uh, we want to protect our class from the oppression of corporations.